Hey guys, it's Carl Brown for GuitarLessons365.com. Today we're going to finish our look at Slash's guitar solos for Estranged. Um, so this is the third lesson here. We're going to take a look at that last guitar solo in the song, the one that probably um, is the most high energy and has the fastest licks there. Um, and then uh, the next lesson, we're going to take care of all the rhythm guitar parts too, just for completeness sake. But uh, we're going to get rid of the fun stuff today with the Slash's solos. So, so now before these things start, we're obviously we're still tuned down a half step here. Um, there's some volume swells, um, kind of a whale type effect here. So um, we, what he's doing here is we're going to be grabbing the 13th fret on the B string, and you're going to do a pre-bend of a whole step. So basically, make it sound like that note, and then release it. But what he's doing is he's probably got a volume pedal. Uh, that he's able to roll off the volume and then as he's doing that, releasing that bend, he brings the volume back in with the pedal. Uh, he probably uses a volume pedal because it's very difficult to do it with a Les Paul because the volume knobs are so far from the picking area. And just like this guitar, it's a little bit too far. If I had my Strat, it's really easy to do these volume swells with the guitar itself. But basically, you're picking the note up, a pre-bend a whole step, and you bring in the volume swell, then turn it back down and do it again. He has some delays on there too, so it's kind of carrying over the delays. So he does it like three times there, then he moves it over to do the same thing here at the 12th fret on the G string. Uh, so like on a guitar like this, or a Les Paul, it'd be very difficult to do it with a guitar. Now the last one we're going to do actually do another pre-bend at the 13th fret on the B string, but this time instead of a whole step, it's two whole steps. So it's a really big bend. You got to be able to feel where it is in pitch and then bring it in. Well, we bent that to sound like that. All right, so it's a it's a big uh, pre-bend to be able to feel without actually being able to hear it until the volume comes in. And then you have the actual solo starts. And the first phrase is like this. All right, so what's going on there? We have some pre-bends again, a half step pre-bend at the 15th fret on the B string. Then release it down to fifth, so, so just go. Then play 13, and over to 14 on the G. Play this. Now we're back to the 15th fret pre-bend, a half step again. Pick that, and then pick it without the bend. So we have this. Okay, and then another pre-bend here. Release it, and then pick 15 again. 13 and 14 on the G. So we have this so far. And then we're gonna end this phrase with 13, 15, 13 on the B. So make sure you just on that third time through, you do that release, then you pick 15 again. That's the one that kind of can throw you off. So all together. All right, next phrase. All right, so those are some oblique bends that we've got going on there. So what that's gonna be is you're gonna do a whole step bend at the 18th fret on the B string and grab the 18 while you're doing that bend on the high E. And then bend again on the uh, B string while still holding that top note. So we have this. So one more time. And then as you're doing both of those bends, you're gonna pick Across the B, back to the high E, and back to the B string and release the bend. So we have this. Release to 16 on the B, 17 on the G. So all together. Repeat that. Next. That's a, a, you know, a half step bend again at the 15th fret there on the B string. Bend it up. And then pick a normal over to 17 on the G. And that was right there, that lick was 15 on the G, 
slide 17 and 15 down on the D, 13, over to 15 on the A. So here it is. And then we're going to do a bend there at the 15th on the D, and then over to the 15 on the low E. So all together. All right, next phrase. All right, so I'm gonna stop there before the fast part. So we have a little hammer 13 to 15 on the A, over to 13 on the D, slide 15 to 17 on the D, over to 15 on the G, then 15, 13 on the D again. All right, and now we have this a fast lick that really ends the solo. It sounds like this. It's not so much fast as it is just long. So uh, we really kind of got to piece it together here. So let's we'll start here on the D string. Little bend and release there at the 15th fret, down to 13, then back to the 15 and slide it to 17. Over to 15 on the G, 17 on the G twice, back to 17 on the D. One more time. Then 15, 17 on the G. You got a quick little hammer pull here, 15 to 16, back to 15, pull off on the B string. Then to 17 on the G, then 15, 16, 18 on the B string, up to the high E string, 15th fret. So all together so far. All right, now we have 18 on the B. Back to, roll it to the 18 on the high E. Back to 18 on the B. Then you can do a little uh, hammer pull again from 15 to 18, pull back to 15 on the high E. And 18 on the B, back to 15 on the high E. So right there at the top, we're gonna do this. All right, and now we have another oblique bend, which is going to be that's going to be the whole step bend of the 18 on the B, uh, grabbing the 18 on the high E string with it, pick it, release, 16 on the B to 17 on the D. All right, and I'm going to end this solo here. We're going to do a little half step pre bend of the 15, release. And then 17, 15 on the G. So far from this new part. All right, a little descending run. 17 twice on the G. 15 on the G. 17 on the D. Then 15, back to 15 on the G. And slide 17 to 15 down on the D. Then 13. So all together so far from this little descending run. So then a quick little pentatonic lick to end it. 15, 13 on the D, 15, 13 on the A. Uh, then we have the, we're just a little bending release at 15 on the D, down to 13. And then the long bend at back at the 15th fret there on the D. All together for that little ending. All right, so it's a, it's a really fun one. It's got some cool licks in it. Um, and, you know, Slash the Solo is always they're so melodic, but they got some really uh, stuff to really kind of exercise the fingers as well. So stay tuned for all the rhythm guitar parts. I'll see you then.